Welcome everyone to the Accessibility Testing Isn't Hard by Sujashree Kurupati. Uh, we are glad you could all join us today. Uh, without any further delay, over to you Sujashree. All the best. Thank you, Shama. So let me share the screen. Uh, hi everyone, very good afternoon and thank you so much for joining me uh, to know more about accessibility testing uh, tools. Um, so myself, Sujashri Korapati, I have been associated with DQ and accessibility for 12 years now. And uh, I started my career as a developer and then moved into different roles at DQ. And for the last eight years, I have been managing and taking care of DQ India uh, located in Hyderabad. Uh, so as the title of this session says, uh, you know, accessibility testing is not hard. I believe those words very strongly uh, because of some of the tools like Axe in the market. Uh, right. So Axe is a open source free library available uh, in accessibility community. And uh, so I want to cover all the free Axe suite of products today. And so that, uh, you know, it helps you in automating your accessibility uh, you know, product testing. Um, so so as part of this session, in the next 20 minutes, I will be covering outline of X, X Core API, X Linter, X Beta, and X for Android. All these are freely available. And uh, my mm, uh, hope is that if you, if everyone starts using these tools, utilize these tools, then we can, we all together can make the digital world a better place for people with disabilities. And this is the reason I have chosen this topic for today. And in, uh, so before uh, getting into the real topic, uh, you know, let me take a minute to introduce DQ to all of you. So we have been in this exclusive accessibility business for uh, more, over 20 years now, and we believe in digital equality, wherein uh, we enable people with disabilities, uh, you know, to e access uh, information on the website or mobile or in, on any digital platform equally without any discrimination. And, uh, you know, we uh, have... Uh, we support both accessibility products and services. So when it comes to services, we do uh, audits of web applications, mobile applications, uh, documents, uh, and then design wireframes. And we do provide uh, instructor-led uh, trainings as well. And we have DQ University, which is a self-facing uh, uh, online uh, curriculum accessibility curriculum available there and uh, we also support strategic uh, you know uh, decisions and directions and implementations through accessibility program office uh, offering and when it comes to pro products we do have enterprise products uh, you know that helps you uh, and your organization uh, you know to monitor the accessibility status of your products and also we have products to support you throughout the development uh, you know, uh, processes like early stage of your software development life cycle. So, uh, you know, uh, we uh, we are very proud sponsor of this uh, event uh, happening today and tomorrow, Selenium Conference. Uh, so we have a booth available and uh, my colleagues, Abhin Rai Chaudhary and Soma Alapati, both are available at uh, booth in case if you want to know more about our enterprise products and its features. So feel free to drop by in case if you have any queries. So, but in this session, I'll be, uh, you know, only covering uh, the outline of the free products uh, for the benefit of the community. All right. So many of you might already know about accessibility, but just for the benefit of everyone, and let me take a minute to you know uh, explain it. So uh, you know, it, accessibility is all about enabling people, uh, regardless of their disability, so that they get the same information and use the same functionality on you know on any device. So basically, digital accessibility or web accessibility makes sure so that uh, it is uh, everything. All the information is available for anyone regardless of the uh, disability or ability and on any device like uh, desktop, mobile and tablet. So that is the, you know, uh, very uh, simple definition of web or digital accessibility. So coming to the guidelines and standards, you know, every country will have its own uh, laws and standards, uh, you know, but internationally there is a standard called WCAG, which is uh, Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. And uh, W3C recent recommendation is that uh, WCAG 2.1 level WA, so which comprises of 50 success criteria. So whenever you have to make your 
uh, application accessible, compliant with this standard, then you have to cross check all the 50 success criteria, uh, which is nothing but some test procedures. Uh, you know, under uh, you will find some test procedures under each success criteria. So at DQ, we do uh, recommend uh, for uh, WCAG 2.1 level AA for all of our clients. And level AAA is something uh, you know uh, it, it is little difficult to achieve, and is the reason uh, 2.1 level AA is the uh, reasonable accommodation that we recommend at DQ and also uh, from W3C. All right, so let's get into the topic of today, uh, all the free Axe tools available uh, from DQ. And uh, so I would say that Axe is uh, really uh, a trusted uh, tool in the community. The reason I say uh, is like uh, there are multiple reasons why I say that. Uh, so for example, if you consider this number, what is it? 58%, right? So uh, usually, uh, you know, our Axe Core library covers uh, uh, 30% of uh, success criteria from whatever I just listed from OCAG, right? And, but what is this 58% then? So until last month, I worked as a product owner for one of the licensed products at DQ, which is called Axe Auditor. It is actually available for uh, uh, commercial sale, but we also use the same tool internally to record our own uh, uh, audit findings uh, for our own clients, actually. So it is the data which sits on this server is like uh, real data. So uh, so uh, when I was uh, working on this pro on that product, I pulled the data from 2017 January to 2020 April. That means three years, four months data to see how X score is really helping, uh, you know, uh, helping in terms of coverage, right? I found that 58% of the issues are covered by X score. That means 58% of the issues recorded in the tool are from X automation. So this is the coverage that we observed recently. And then uh, Axe has 60 million plus downloads. To be very precise, uh, I heard yesterday that uh, we had uh, 63 million downloads. So, uh, you know, it's just one tool with so many downloads. So that is the reason I say that Axe is a trusted tool uh, in the community and it is open sourced in 2015 and freely available. And it comes in two flavors. Uh, one is an, as an extension in, uh, to the Chrome and Firefox browsers and then as an API as well. And then, uh, so we, uh, I, I don't have too much time today in this session to demo all these things. So I just, you know, uh, showing the, I'm just showing the screenshots. So as you see on the screen, whenever you go to the browser, Chrome or Firefox, open the web page, open the dev tools, and then you see if you install Axe extension, you see Axe on the dev toolbars, and then you just see analyze button. And once you click it, whatever is the web page on the browser, it will analyze it and show you the list the issues on the left hand panel. On the on the right side, you see the details of the uh, issue with the uh, inspect and highlight features available. More, more than that, uh, it also gives you a, gives you the link to DQ University where you can find very detailed information about each each of these issues, like you know how it impacts, uh, which disability gets impacted because of this, and why you have to fix that, how you can test, how to remediate this, uh, meaning how to fix this. So all of that information, valuable information, is available in DQ University. So this is the extension part, and uh, this is uh, free, but in the paid version, as you see on the screenshot, there is an Axe expert. So we recently, you know, just to tell you how powerful it is, we recently rebranded all of our licensed products to prefix with Axe name. Um, because of this, uh, you know, leading indicator. So as you see, uh, there is an Axe expert, which is part of our uh, paid package that will have a lot of other uh, commercializer features like export, import, commercial, uh, custom rules, uh, uh, you know, uh, different standards availability, uh, and then page insights, which, which will help you with manual testing. Uh, and then you can test with uh, you no know, scope of uh, a particular pay, page area, not the entire page. So there will be a lot of uh, av features available there, reporting and all of that. All right. So so moving to the free version of API, uh, which is we call it uh, as Xcore API. So which this you can integrate with any framework uh, that can execute JavaScript. 
uh, so for example selenium jasmine jasmine uh, you know uh, jenkins uh, mocha uh, all these uh, any any framework that can execute javascript can be integrated with uh, this xcore api it just is a, a simple javascript library so y as you add any other library you just add it and you call the method to use it and then uh, in case of continuous integrations you can make sure that x clean uh, before you proceed further with that build so again as i said at the booth uh, we have soma who can demo you with the jenkins and selenium all of this uh, if you are interested please uh, you know have a discussion with him so just for an idea uh, this is how we configure the uh, you know uh, x uh, driver uh, actually i use that test word uh, test which is a previous uh, name uh, for x dev tools so but it, it is very similarly you use x driver as well so basically to configure uh, and use it you will create web driver instance of chrome and uh, uh, x driver instance and then configure it with the url and then call the is accessible method and uh, you see the results uh, like this in the editor so uh, you know that that easy it is and the return uh, it, it returns the json object and you can parse through and report, get the report uh, you know you can you know, form build the report as how you want but if you go with the paid package all that reporting and everything is already available uh, as part of the package itself all right um, so x lender is another recent tool that we added to this free suite of uh, x products so which is uh, a github app actually so it is available at x linter at dq.com so what it does is whenever you raise a pull request uh, it, it you know, you see Accelerator integration there, and uh, you know it cross checks some of uh, you know ARIA rules uh, on the code that you submitted, uh, and it supports React, Vue, HTML, and Markdown languages. And this is how it looks actually. So uh, you know, uh, it, it suggests the name. And on, on top of your pull request, it suggests that what is wrong and how can it can how it can be corrected as well. So you can just commit the suggestion. For example, on the screenshot you are seeing, you know, article is uh, misspelled and then tab index three uh, is not the right thing to do. So it, it does that. And then on the whole, actually, uh, on the pull request you see the checks tab right inside the checks tab. Uh, it, it will list out all the issues of the number of files it scanned, file uh, it, uh, the whatever the errors. It it has and then the list of all the errors with along with the file names so uh, this is a uh a recent addition and uh, there is another product uh, which is called x beta which is free and it is also called intelligent guided tests so the reason why we call it as intelligent guided tests is uh, for example if you take x core uh, library right so that you know our automation team is constantly working on improving the coverage part and making trying to make more things automated uh, but we are at the same time we identified that there are certain rules uh, accessibility rules uh, wherein you know the system needs little user intervention but if we if it can get that little uh, help from the user it can automatically raise the issues uh, it can automatically raise the issues so that's the reason uh, you know we invented this uh, product and uh, it is available all you have to do is go to x extension on chrome browser this particular tool works only on chrome browser so and then sign up there uh, and then uh, you know you can log in you get the credentials to log into x.dq.com and one beautiful thing is like it doesn't require any of uh, accessibility knowledge uh, and uh, and it guides you through basically a certain set of uh, questions and based on your answers it raises the issues for you automatically that's the beauty of this tool so uh, you know this is how it, the dashboard looks for example here i you know i have this dashboard for qaweb.dqcloud.com where it is listed out how many uh, you know issues are there uh, that are found automatically and how many are found through guided tests like for example 18 are from guided tests and 39 are from x code and uh, one other thing that i wanted to mention is all of our including paid uh, you know uh, uh, licensed versions of products use x core as the underlying automation rule engine so the only difference will be uh, the public version which is freely available will take certain time to get updated whereas the paid version will have the latest and stable version always that's the only difference right um, 
so uh, as part of x beta this is how the manual uh, you know guided tests will be so these are the eight tools available as of today for example if you take lists for example right you go to your web page and you enable x beta uh, product right x x extension and it will uh, you know as automatically identify what are all the lists available in that page and then it shows you okay th these are the lists i am finding and am i missing anything from the list list that are supposed to be marked as lists and then it says are you finding any less in this list that should not be in the list so it asks some questions intelligent questions and then based on how you answer as a user it automatically raises the issues for example let's go to the heading right so here uh, on the left side you are seeing the web page on the right side you have the x extension so you know uh, it highlighted automatically uh, all the headings that it is finding and on, as you see on the screen it says we have highlighted 10 headings we could find on your website do you see any that shouldn't be a heading so it is say it is asking like okay i see 10 but are these valid headings in your mind right when i and you say yes uh, you know some shouldn't be headings then it asks you which which uh, you know highlight the one which shouldn't be a heading based on the selector you know whenever you click something it pull, pulls the selector and then goes to the next question and then it asks like okay did i miss any heading that is supposed to be a heading right so uh, like that it asks the questions and based on how you answer uh, it, it raises the issues automatically all right so and then uh, as i was telling with the same data volume of data for three years four months i had uh, you know i went back and then okay i saw okay if i combine x core automation rule engine that i have and then x beta which is uh, intelligent guided tools uh, that is covering some manual uh, you know uh, coverage right uh, then my, my auto uh, the my coverage is you know completely uh, going to be the range in between the 76 to 84 percent that's huge it is so the you might be wondering uh, how can that be possible right because we, we observed i observed that uh, developers are doing certain uh, you know uh, uh, repetitive mistakes under certain uh, success criteria for example color contrast uh, for example label association unique id heading structures uh, heading hierarchies so these are very common uh, you know I, I found many number of issues major uh, you know uh, range of issues in under these success criteria so, um, I have top 10 list as well, if anyone is interested to know. So we found some patterns actually uh, where developers are really doing uh, repetitive mistakes. That's the reason uh, X is really helping out to, to find majority of the issues. Okay, and then coming to the uh, mobile uh, you know, space, X for Android is free, which you can find uh, in uh, Play Store. You know, uh, you, it's very simple. Just go and find it in Google Play and then uh, install it. And then you see uh, a setting called X, uh, as you see in the right side of my screen. And once you enable it, make it on, uh, a purple guy will uh, come on the screen. And, uh, you know, it will the, that guy will follow you wherever you are on the phone. And then you can open any native application that you want to test for accessibility. And then once you click that, it runs the accessibility checks. And then, you know, at the bottom of the screen you will see all the issues listed down uh, because of the screen resolution that is what the ui of uh, other uh, ui front we could do uh, but in case if you go for a paid version we will give you very new very uh, nice desktop view which will uh, also you know uh, which will be linked with the uh, native application and you know with, it comes with all the uh, options like highlight options and all of that and it will be easy to navigate through basically right so this is all i have for today and then coming to the resources i wanted to tell you that uh, dq has come up with uh, uh, you know x conference uh, which is a free and virtual conference that is going to happen in march 2021 uh, 10th and 11th i think uh, so we invite all of you to come and join us and share uh, your accessibility journey uh, knowledge and you know um, lesson uh, learnings uh, we will be happy to host you all in March next year. And then uh, DQ is also giving away a, a book on agile accessibility written by our chief product officer, uh, Dylan Barrett. So this lists out the best practices that agile teams can follow to make uh, and deliver, uh, you know, ac uh, to deliver accessibility, accessible solutions in an agile way. And then I gave some inf important information that can help you uh, uh, you know, especially acts the dev tools that will help all the dev and QA uh, people. And uh, they, uh, you know, 
the parts of uh, X dev tools really help throughout your uh, life cycle of the you know uh, uh, software development and uh, your ROI will be much better if you start using these tools. So my only hope is that uh, you know. Uh, Set, you know, putting all the laws and standards, uh, uh, compliance standards, uh, you know, uh, aside. I really request all of you, if you have the influence to implement accessibility uh, as a human, you know, uh, to give a better, you know, better digital world for our uh, generations to come. Uh, please, uh, you know, use these at least free tools and uh, make your products accessible and uh, uh, build a better digital world for everyone, including persons with disabilities. Thank you so much for listening to all of this. And if you, in case of any question, please, please feel free to reach me at Sujashree, S-U-J-A-S-R-E dot Kurapati, K-U-R-A-P-I-T-I at the rate dq.com. Thank you so much. Um, thanks, Sujashree, uh, for sharing your experience with us today.